Hey guys, it's Charles Austin here with Liquid Blue Carburetor in Carburetor, Dominican Republic. And lately we've been reviewing a lot of equipment, everything from the new hard handles that have come out from F1 to some new wings. And today we're gonna to be reviewing another new wing to us, which is the Strike CWC V4. Uh, this is the light wind range. As you can tell right now, it's summertime. We really don't have that much light wind. We're probably around 15 to 20 knots but it's still great to test light wind equipment in stronger winds to see how it handles. But in any case, what I want to review is just seeing the lightness of this new wing because it does have that Alula material, which um, is to reduce weight, increase the strength, and also costs a lot more. So it's gonna be interesting to see if these wings are worth the $1,800 to $2,200 price tag that it has, which is something that people are saying is crazy, but maybe it's worth it. And especially when you're going to light wind uh, conditions, you're gonna wanna have the lightest and stiffest equipment, let's say to a certain extent, or most rigid. And supposedly the mix of the, the high techs and the Lula material that's in this new wing is gonna accomplish just that. Uh, I always gotta sympathize with riders because yeah, we're in the industry, but also we do uh, understand that there is certain limitations in terms of financial um, possibilities for everyone around the world. So it is cool to see technology advancing, though also it is advancing with um, a dollar tag to it, which might make it inaccessible to some people, but maybe if it's worth it and it lasts you many years, then it could be interesting for you to invest in a wing like this, especially if you're somewhere in the lighter conditions or you're a heavier rider. So this is the six meter Alula Strike V4. Let me just rip this apart. We got that sound, it's brand new. We haven't tested it. I haven't even watched any really review videos about it. Just saw, I just saw some promotion. So from what I understand, the Alula part of it is just a few parts of the material, the center strut, for example, which we should be seeing here, and maybe even some of the leading edge. So there we go. This definitely looks like something a little bit different than what we're used to. Also the feeling of it, a little bit like, uh, you almost hear that. It's like plastic, which is interesting. And then the leading edge, the leading edge just look like the normal, um, the normal material. So all the struts are of this Alula material. And uh, that's where, due to the patent and how everything's working, that's where a lot of the um, increases in price is coming from just because this is not uh, proprietary technology, this is from a third party. So it is interesting, they've implemented it in the kiteboarding world, making some kites that are also going in that price range, uh, that are Alula, and now we're, they're implementing it into the wing foiling world, which is interesting. Already what I like about this new wing and all the new wings that came out in the F1 lineup this year is the fact that they're implementing the system which allows you to manipulate the wing, whether with uh, boom, hard handles, soft handles, or semi-rigid handles, which is great because now this wing, the F1 wings really cater to all styles of riders in the terms of what feeling they wanna get out of the handle, which is something that's important because some people like the boom feeling, some people like the hard handles feelings, and some people don't like that and they wanna have softer handles. And there's different reasons why you might want one or the other, and that's a totally other video, but in general, what I am stoked about is the fact that this system is out. It's on all the brand new wings from the strikes to the swings to the origin. And this is something that's a game changer. If someone's thinking the upgrade already, this is a huge upgrade. But in terms of this CWC, the compact wing concept, this is something for lighter riders or larger riders. And it works really well in reality because I've tested out some other light wind wings and they're super heavy, they're pretty big. And here with this design, they're a little bit more compact, but they still have that large size so that you can generate a lot of power in lighter winds, essentially. You can capture more of the wind. And the main difference with this one, this is uh, essentially two or three years in the making because the first CWC was a V1, let's say, and now we're on what they say, the V4. So let's get this pumped up. Uh, it does recommend, let's see, eight PSI to the leading edge and then uh, nine PSI to the center strut. So let's just get that going. This is gonna be a little bit of a workout for me. Uh, press the button, boom. It's gonna be a little bit of a workout for me, but I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for you guys. So 
Let's get this going. All righty, on the count of one, two, and three. See how long it takes. So we're at six. Look at everything is flying away. Even this bag is a Lula, it looks like. All right. So we're at seven and a half. And we're at eight. So for all these tests, I try to go exactly to the recommended PSI to get that recommended feeling. Even though a lot of the times, a little bit out of breath, out of shape, always out of shape in these videos. A lot of the times I like to put my wing up one or two PSI more than what's suggested. And there we can see the Alula logo. Right on there it says Alula Concepts. And this one's nine PSI. Look at that. So just plug this in just to make sure one more time that we're at the nine. All right. So that's closed. Bam. So of course, we're gonna have to do a video down the line, which is gonna be a light wind test of this wing. For now, we're just checking this wing out. We're gonna ride it in stronger winds, but we're also gonna see how it handles in stronger winds. Get the leash on. So already, look at that. It's already flying away. Obviously it's windy, but in terms of the weight, looks super nice. But in terms of the weight, feels light. Handles. This material feels very, very like, sort of plasticky, but rigid. Obviously, so much power is right here on the beach. A lot of power, you know. But yeah, look at that. This is just, this is just blowing me away. But in terms of the shape, same CWC shape as we're used to. A Little bit refined, it seems. Uh, I don't have the other wing, the other six meter, Right next to me. One thing that's interesting is this. This definitely looks reinforced, so a lot stronger, a lot more sturdy. I like this new system. Interesting system. So I'm not, I've never seen that, so this might be coming in the future. It looks like it might help with the bending as well as the uh, longevity of it, because this was an issue with kites and wings. All the companies during COVID had issues there. Here though, we could tell that the shape is a little bit different than what it is normally. But basically, it seems where just with them putting this material to set the struts, a lula shaves off a lot of weight or significant weight to help it be a little bit more um, rigid as well as lighter overall and just improving the whole feeling and sensation. The rest of the material is the normal material that you can find on the strikes and the uh, and the uh, swings, as well as the origin. But you can tell that right here, that they use different versions, 52 grams and 66 grams. So they're changing how the material is, the layouts of the material, where they're reinforcing. Um, but overall, it looks good. And this is the six meter. So right now we're not gonna get much use for it in the winter time, or in the summertime, sorry, because the wind is already so uh, strong most of the days around 15 to 25 knots. There's a range there So we're probably not gonna get this going because once the wind kicks in within one hour It's already 15 20 knots and then you could ride your 4.5 your 5 meter your 3.5 But for the winter time we are gonna put some use into this it will become 
a, a regular used wing, especially for larger riders or just lighter days. But it feels good, as always. You know, it comes with the standard handles, comes with the standard leash, super light, right, stable. Here we got wind shifting a little bit. But in reality, the wind is shifting. But in reality, just nice, not fluttering. Of course, it's brand new, but in general, looks solid. Now, for the price tag, it has 1,800 bucks. Would I buy this one versus the Strike V1, uh, the CWC V1? Maybe not. But there's a new issue. The Strike CWC version one probably is not out is not out anymore and sold out worldwide. So you're gonna have to get one of these if you're gonna want a light wind um, wing. But I wouldn't feel too bad because this is an improved and refined version. And already going back to it, these hard handle adapters or this new setup that F1 has for all the handles that they came out with from the hard handles to the boom to these soft handles or the medium hard handles which are these ones you could tell you know they're they're soft but they have a little bit of strength to them and i personally like this for wave riding for freestyle i actually started liking the hard handles but that's for another video and i think overall it definitely if you need a nine meter this comes from six seven eight and nine meters if you live somewhere where it's nine meters i recommend you come visit us in cabaret because we don't need nine meters here but this six meter the seven meter probably will come into use for a lot of places especially in europe and the eight or nine might have some uh some specific niches that it covers but in reality the fact that they're trying to test out and improve and develop the wings and make them even better lighter stronger stiffer more performance orientated is awesome of course it comes at a price tag that some people find it's hard to justify, but it is what it is. Uh, when you want the best, sometimes it costs. And um, in this case, I think the market is now starting to catch up to the fact that the wings will keep increasing in price up to a point where they'll start stabilizing. And I hope we hit that ceiling because it'd be crazy if wings start costing $2,500, $3,000, which might happen in the next coming years, but that's just inflation. So in any case though, uh, for now, what I gotta say about this, build quality is solid. We are going to test out in, in stronger winds. We got Jerry out there testing out the Origin, and then we're going to also be testing out this one, and just to see how it goes. But I think this will be in our quiver for sure. A six meter will be in our quiver, and uh, it'll be in our rental pool and our lessons pool, and it'll probably do well. Though I know that uh, when you're a consumer and you're looking at it and you see the price tag, you might be a little bit worried. But the CWC has proven to be a super good shape, really amazing for light winds, and uh, compared to other competitors in this space. There might be competitors in the future that come out with something that's more innovative or even better and more efficient in lighter winds. But for now, F1 really dominates that sector because they're, they're coming up with these, this concept, which is unique to them, that actually performs very well in lighter winds. Uh, I've gotten out in some days where I'm like, I can't get out. This is like six knots. And uh, I was able to do it on a 90 liter board, uh, five, six knots. So. It's impressive. And now with this being even lighter, a little bit more rigid and refined shape, it's gonna be even better. So I'm gonna leave you guys with a view of me flying the wing and then with Cabaretti. You. All right, have a good one guys. This is Charles Osterlin with Liquid Blue Cabaretti in Cabaretti Dominican Republic. And I'll leave you with a view of Cabaretti. So we'll see each other later. And I will go test this out. You. All right, guys, just got off the water from testing the six meter CWC V4 with the Alula um, addition, let's say, to the material lineup. And overall, not much to say, great wing, super stable, refined. Already the first shape was great. 
This one's just a little bit more refined, a little bit more pulled in, I felt, a little bit more performance orientated. A lot of the Strike uh, V4 in it, like a little bit flatter profile. And with the Alula, it just feels light overall, you know? I can recall that the six meter and seven meter felt a little bit heavier than this one. So definitely that Alula helps making it lighter and probably stiffening it up overall. And then the improvements they did, like with the valves, uh, the new handle adapters, that you can adapt any sort of handle, boom, hard handle, soft handle to it, just makes it a super great wing. And as you saw in the video, you know, it's just super stable. And I was testing out the new board, I was testing out other wings back to back, and really, there's not much to say about it. It's just a great wing. So if you're thinking of getting a CWC strike, then for sure do it. Of course, figure out what size you are. If it's a six, seven, eight, or nine. If you're in a light wind spot, you'll need a bigger size. If you're a heavier rider, you'll need a bigger size. But you check out the website, there's all the information's there, or hit us up in a message if you're not sure what size to get. And we'll try to help you out with uh, to the best of our knowledge. But in any case, guys, this is Charles Austin with Liquid Blue Cabaret in Cabaret Dominican Republic. And I am standing facing the shore, but I will face the beach. We're just coming into sunset and it's a beautiful day. So I'll leave you with a view. Thank you.